Question number 24. Uh, the figure below represent a cone of height 12 cm and a base of 9 cm from which a, small, a similar smaller cone is removed, leaving a conical hole of height 4 cm. Uh, so we have our diagram here. The height is given 12 cm. Uh, the height of the small cone that was removed is 4 cm. We have the radius of the big cone, uh, which is 9. Uh, so to calculate A, Roman number 1, the base of the conical hole, that is the base of this, this, this distance here, the radius of the base of the small cone. Roman number 2, the volume in terms of pi of the smaller cone that was removed. There you get two marks. Uh, B, Roman number one, determine the slant height of the original cone. Uh -huh, you get one mark. Uh, Roman number two, calculate in terms of pi the surface area of the remaining solid after the smaller cone was removed. So we have, uh, there you get five marks. Uh, so this, uh, this question is from similarity and enlargement. Uh, that is the knowledge that you should apply to be able to work out this question, uh, which you learned in form two. Remember questions in paper one are no mostly from form one and form two, uh, but you can get saturated by some question a a getting into form three and four, and these are topics which uh, maybe the, the you have uh, done the basic in form one and, and two, or, or form two, and then there is an advance of that in form three or form four. Uh, so to do this, let's start with A, uh, base radius of the conical hole. So this is the, 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 the actually the, the radius that we want to get. And in similarity enlargement, we can see that the whole of this cone, the big cone, is similar. As we are told, they are similar. Uh, and when the object are similar, the ratio of corresponding size R uh, gives you a constant. That means if we have, uh, this is, uh, if we say this is, uh, let's say this is the radius of the, of the, uh, the big cone, we, we give it R, and this let be this R, that if we give the, uh, that is, if we start with the small R, we can start with the uh, small R, and we say it is, uh, that is the big R, the radius of the big cone, is equals to, we use the height, the corresponding height. So the, the height here is 4, and the height of the small cone, and the height of the big cone is 12. Uh, so we already have that. So that is uh, possibly just to, to be consistent, we can say this is our height, uh, divided by this is our height. So this is our big H. Uh, this is our small height and therefore this becomes very simple because uh, what we are looking for is R you divide by the radius of the big cone which is 9 cm is equals to the height of the small cone is 4 uh, you divide by the height of the big cone is uh, 12 uh, so that you can make uh, this implies that R the radius of the small cone is 4 divide by 12 and you multiply by 9. Uh, so that's how you do that. So you can simplify here, you divide by 4, you get 1, this is 3, divide by 3, and that will give you 3, is equals to 3 centimeters. So that is the radius of the small cone. Uh, it is important to note that if you start with, we can start with capital R, you divide by small r, and you, div you get a capital H here yeah, divided by the small h, it is still give you a constant as long as uh, the corresponding size of uh, the big cone and the small cone, uh, you, you, you arrange them properly. So that is how you get that uh, mark. Uh, so we go to question number, Roman number, the volume in terms of pi of uh, the smaller cone that was removed uh, so how do we get the volume of the cone? A cone is a, a, a form of a prism, and uh, to get the volume of a prism, we say it is a third uh, a, a base area multiplied by the height. It is a prism with a circular base, 
So this is equals to, we have this information, so it is a that you multiply by uh, the base area, the base is circular, so it is pi r squared, and r we have found it is 3, so it is 3 multiplied by 3, that is r squared, and you multiply by the height, uh, our height here we have been given, it is 4, already we have it there, so you can divide 3 by 3, you get 1, you multiply 4 times 3, that will give you 12 pi. So that is the volume in terms of pi of the small cone that was removed. So that you get too much. Uh, you get to one mark for uh, that, uh, getting the, that using the correct formula and one mark for the answer. Uh, then part B, we are to determine the slant height of the original cone. Uh, so the, the height of the original cone uh, that is uh, that is the slanting side is actually this side here uh, which we can say uh, we can form uh, if we draw a line here uh, coming to the to the center and another one here and then we have this one so it is a right angle it will form a right angle triangle so this is our air here uh, so this is a right angle and we have this is a 9 already given and this is 12 the same height here so we can use the Pythagoras theorem and say L is equals to uh, we say it is uh, the square root of 12 squared Pythagoras theorem uh, plus 9 squared uh, so this is equals to you get this is a uh, uh, this, this is 144 uh, plus 81 and when you add up this uh, using your calculator or you do it just do it manually you get it is square root of 225 and the square root of 225 is 15 so it means the slanting side is 15 centimeter and there you get one mark uh, just okay I've just uh, because you can be able to work it uh, off head uh, that is the square root of 12 divided plus, square, plus 9 squared square root. So that's why you are being awarded one mark. But I've just uh, used that wrong method to show you how we are arriving to the uh, slanting side in case you, 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 you get confused. <coughs> so part 2, we are told calculate in terms of pi the surface area uh, of the remaining solid after the, the smaller cone was uh, removed. So how do we get the, the the surface area of a cone? The surface area of a cone, we can say surface area is gotten by getting the pi uh, uh, that is RL. Uh, so th what uh, this means that uh, uh, to get the surface area, we will get the surface area of the uh, so that is that will give us the surface area of the big cone that is the curved part uh, we can add to the base uh, the base is uh, pi r squared but we have the inner circle that was removed so it means we can get pi uh, the remaining side which is a uh, part that is the circular part with the inner circle removed pi r squared minus uh, r squared that will give you the surface area plus the surface area of the small cone which is pi now we use a small r and a, a small l so that is is equals to uh, this is pi the, the multiply by 9 multiply by 15 uh, then we add to pi uh, this will give you uh, 9 squared minus 3 squared uh, then we have plus the the, the 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 small cone the the, the curved part of the small cone pi uh, the radius is uh, we multiply by the radius which is uh, we got it is three in part a and you multiply by the slanting side now to get the slanting side uh, we still use uh, <coughs> the Pythagoras theorem since we have the uh, the four here which is the height and the radius so we say small uh, that is the slanting side of the small cone is a square root of uh, 4 squared uh, plus 3 squared this is equals to square root of 16 plus 9 
uh, which is the square root of 25 is equal to 5. So that means we multiply here by 5. That is the slanting side. And uh, this you'll be able to get. This is equal to uh, when you multiply this, it will give you, uh, you use your calculator uh, that, uh, okay, you can, uh, you can, uh, you can factor out pi outside. So you get, uh, this is, uh, uh, you get, uh, this is uh, 135, uh, then you get plus, uh, this is 81 minus 9. That will give you 72 uh, plus uh, this will be 15 5 times 3 so this you'll be able to get it is equals to when you add up that you get it is 222 pi so that is uh, the and we are calculating the 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 surface area so this means it is centimeter squared so that is how you work out that and there you get five marks so you get ma five marks for applying the formula uh, here you get uh, two uh, marks for multiplication and uh, combining there you get a mark for the answer uh, so those add up to five marks so that's how you work out that and uh, so you can see it is a very simple question uh, as long as you remember what you learned in similarity and enlargement and the basic of this is the, the, that is uh, the ratio of the corresponding sides uh, gives you a constant so with that uh, you should be able to work out this question then uh, I think the only knowledge you have here, you add here is a Pythagoras theorem uh, which you I think uh, that you run even in primary uh, then of course you need to master the formulas for example the formula of finding the volume of a cone that you run in form 2 so it combines that and also the the, the surface area the, the formula for finding the surface area and that's all the all what you need to be able to get 10 marks out of 10 in this question so i hope you have followed and next time you encounter such kind of a question uh, i hope you'll be able to do that so thank you for watching